Hello everybody, I'm Bear Skills. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to The Long Dark. So we're back here again for some more videos. On the way to getting level 5 fishing, we're about a quarter way there. Three quarters of the way left to get there, roughly. Not quite, but roughly. And we're going to try and get that to level 5 before we start going anywhere. That's actually doing some decent progress as well. Um, decent progress, but... We need to go check the weather out here and see what we're dealing with. It sounds like it might be a little windy, but visibility is mostly what I'm worried about. And actually, yeah, it's not a bad day for fishing at all. It's a little chilly, but not losing any temperature, so it's not too bad. Not too bad at all. Now, I am going to probably head over uh, to the mine over by... Uh, the trapper's cabin, the cave that's there. I'm probably going to farm up some coal. Probably head there soon, next day or two. Um, get some coal saved up here. I want to have a lot of fire ready. Um, fog is seems to be rolling in, though, which is not great right now. Uh, but yes, yeah, so I want to have a lot of fire stuff ready. I want to have food ready. Because we might, might be in a lot of trouble when we get back from Bleak Inlet. I don't know. It's going to depend on if those flares work the way I think they will. and hope they will. Because um, if I can just pop a flare and walk past the wolves, we have enough flares. We'll never have to deal with one wolf if we don't want to. Hopefully. Because they... At least they used to work just like the marine flares, except they last longer. Um, so I don't know. I really don't. We'll have to see... We'll have to see. Only 42% frozen. So, we can use our pry bar again. Break that down. Won't take too long. As long as our line doesn't break. Which it probably will, since I said something. Somewhat of a All small bass there. Think about is food. Yeah, I know. You're catching so much food. Well, you're going to have a, so much to eat, you'll never get it all eaten. But yeah, fishing's a great way to pass the time in the long dark. Once you get all of your equipment going, you've got good clothing, you've got Something's plenty of go. food and water, you don't you don't have to worry about cooking or anything like that. And you've got, you know, a good amount of arrows or a bow, or you got a rifle or a revolver and ammunition saved up. Once you got that stuff, you're good to set out here and just fish for a lot of hours. It's one of the best ways to pass time this gear on this game. Me down. Here's another fishy. 578 calories, not too bad. 448, it's about usual. It's getting dark out here. Time it is. Look for shelter. We'll head to bed here in a while, but we got a lot there on our line, so I guess we're heading right now. Trees. Alrighty. Man, I hear a lot of wolves out there, but I haven't seen one. You can hear them all over out there. I'm so thirsty, I can't think straight. I don't know, maybe that's just ambient noises, but usually when you hear wolves howling, it means there's wolves in that direction. Like, I've never seen where that's not true. But, uh, for tonight, we're gonna head back to the camp office. And then we will... check and see the weather tomorrow, because you've got to be careful with the weather. Even though you do spend a lot of your time in the fishing night, you got to be careful it's not too cold. you got to be careful it's not too bad on the visibility when getting back. Because even knowing the map as well as I do, I'm still not 100% comfortable moving in fog between the camp office and the fishing hut there. It's still, you know, it's still a risk. I mean, anything you do in this game is a risk in a lot of ways, but Doing things unnecessarily risky, such as moving in fog when if you don't have to. Well, you're begging for trouble at that point. So we're just gonna take things carefully, a little slow. Oh, that for food. I'm gonna have to grab something on the way in. Well, that'll do for the night. But having those thousand calorie steaks every night is pretty pretty nice too. We hit cooking level 5, and carcass harvesting level 5. It ain't too bad. 
It is pretty nice all around. Now, uh, I just moved through the dark. to feel like waiting to turn on the lantern. Most of the time you can just use the, if you know the layout of the indoor here, you can usually find your way just by using the windows as a little bit of a reference point. Seven hours, probably you would do. We'll hit eight just to make sure we get enough, and then we'll have to pass some time, sleep a little bit more. Fishing does do that, you gotta be careful on how you do that. Especially if you get your sleep schedule messed up like I have, to where sleeping doesn't you know, you're not getting up at the appropriate time. I've been getting up about midday, which isn't great for me. But it's also not the worst. Sleep for as long as it'll let me. Two hours. Should not sleep more than two hours. About an hour and a half, I figure. Uh, yeah, about an hour and a half. Drink some water. I could eat anything. Still got some food in their stomach from last night's dinner, so we should be good, depending on the weather, to go back to go fishing. I am going to check my progress, though, when I step outside here. Not too bad. Good enough for fishing. Um, yeah. So it really depends on the day, how lucky you get with how, how the fish are biting on every particular day. But, for the most part, um, if you get a really good day of fishing, you can get about a quarter way in one day. 12 hours of fishing. Now we are starting way earlier in the day, so we're going to get a lot of fishing done today, as long as nothing bad happens. So I reckon we'll be a little over half, maybe even three quarters of the way to hit in a little five fishing, which would be amazing. If we can accomplish that, we'll have no problem with food in Bleak Inlet. There's a moose, there's bear, there's wolves, and then we'll have fish. Um, so we shouldn't have a problem. And of course, I won't be fishing like I am here um, <laughs> in a dangerous place like Bleak Inlet. I won't be mass fishing because Timberwolves. But if I'm, you know, hungry, I can go catch a fish or two and that'll be good for the night. So it'll give me another option, which is the biggest thing in this game. In my opinion, when you're playing this game, the most important thing is having options. It's when you get... It's when you get stuck into having to do a particular thing. Like, oh, I have to, you know, I have to go get food today. You know, because I don't have any, so I have to go hunting or I have to go fishing. Um, and you only get, like, you know, one thing. Okay, my fishing... Oh, yeah, we didn't have fishing tackle. Oh, man. I didn't bring... I don't have any in here. Oh, no. All right, well, I got to go back then. Sorry, guys. Um, oh, well, give us more time to talk, I suppose. We're still starting early. But, uh, yeah, so you don't want to be stuck in anything. With fishing level 5, and my firearms leveled up, my cooking, my carcass harvesting, I can choose whichever uh, fits the situation better at the time. So is it fishing? Is it hunting? You know, is it just waiting it out? You know, you could pick. Whereas if you only had, like, fishing leveled up, you didn't have anything else. You might have to fish if you want to get your food effectively, or the other way around, you don't have fishing, so basically you're stuck with hunting or doing some really bad fishing. With your skills leveled up all the way, you have a choice. Because uh, it's when you get locked into something like, man, I have to fish to get my food, or I have to go hunting to get my food. That's when you get locked into having to do a certain thing, and then bad things happen, and it, it can be a real problem very quickly. But when you have options, if something goes bad, doing one thing, you can always switch to the other, which is really nice. That's why I like uh, here in Mystery Lake so much, and even in Timberwolf. Um, you got fishing right next to you, your home, basically. It's never too far away. You've usually got animals you can hunt. Here you can snare rabbits you can in Timberwolf. You can hunt deer, you can hunt wolves. Bear are nearby, especially in Timberwolf. There's one, like, right there. Um, moose as well. Uh, I haven't seen any moose in mystery, I don't think, on this run that I can remember. But plenty over by the... What's it called? Plenty over by the Mountaineer set in Timberwolf. Okay, so we did have line. Okay, I was just checking. Still got a lot. I got so many tools. Did I read you? Oh, um, man, we might need to go get some more progress on that. That might be really nice. Um, Same with you, actually. 
Um, let's grab some fishing tackle, though. Should be enough. Three's plenty. Let me check and see if I read these. I've not read that. I have... Oh, man. That would get us halfway. Can we read? Okay, we can. I was just testing to see if we could. How about you? Okay, that's going to get us a decent bit of progress. Okay, we can read so both of those. Hungry. So I'm going to keep these with me. Um, because reading is a thing. So, that's going to be really huge for us. That'll get us a little boost on the fishing. Um, since we know we can use the fishing book at level 4, we're going to wait until we're almost level 5, then we'll use the book to finish us off. That'll be the best thing, I think. Um, and the gunsmithing, as soon as we get time, we'll read that. That'll put us to 3.5. I didn't realize we had the other book. That's going to be awesome. So we've only got a level and a half to go. To get to level 5, we've got to get through all the way through level 4 and halfway through level 3. That's going to be so awesome. Now, normally I would uh, probably save the books because I know I can use them at level 3 and at level 2. I didn't know that because certain things, it's like archery, you can go all the way up to 5, but rifle, firearm uh, books, you can only use up to level 4 and then you can't use it anymore. So certain things you want to read at certain times when you're leveling up your skills. Other things you just want to read as soon as you can. So like firearm, you want to read as pretty much, uh, you want to make sure you're reading it before level 4. Archery, you want to save your books until you're level 4, and then read them all. That'll get you to level 5 really quickly. Um, we know fishing can level us up in 4, so you want to save your fishing books until you've hit level 4. And gunsmithing, we know, works until level 3. We don't know if it works until level 4, so we know save your books for level 3 in the future. Now, it doesn't really help us now, but I mean, it helps get us some progress, but it'll really help us in further runs if we ever play. Or if I'm ever just playing, or if you guys have the information, you guys are playing by yourselves at some point. Uh, it's good information to know. Because the skills like archery... Um, I thought archery was going to be really tough to level up. But I got lucky. Because I saved my books... <clears throat> Until I was like level five, uh, level four, and then I just read a bunch of books, and that got me to level five on this run, for the most part. Now you can't do that with all of them, but archery, huge one to do. Save your archery books. In this case, save your fishing books. Maybe even something. save your gunsmithing books too, depending on how. You know, if we hit level four, if we can still use a book. Well, we know at least till level three, it'll get you to level four using books. Um. So you can read on level 3. We don't know if you can read on level 4 yet, but at least level 3 you can. So that's good to know. No. I'm not going to be able to carry this load for much longer. I need to step out here, drop off these fish. No, oh, we didn't catch one bass. Sounds like we're going to have a pack of wolves to deal with pretty soon here. Hmm. Well, if we do, we got the revolver for a reason, and we've got a knife and a hatchet, of course, too. But yeah, doing the fishing we're doing here should get us... We're catching quite a few. I said, and then now we're not catching anything, but there we go. Drop some gear. We should be alright. We should be getting quite a bit of progress right now. It's dusk, so night can't be far behind. There's a bass, that's nice. Finish off these few hours here fishing. Um, oh, or tell line breaks. That works too. And let's drop off our fish. Now, to be honest, if I wanted to, I could just always sleep here for the night. Um, if I really wanted to, but I prefer when I don't have to worry about cabin fever. For the most part, I prefer sleeping in a house, such as the camp office, trapper's cabin, mountaineer's hut. I mean, you can get through the night fine enough uh, in these fishing huts, especially if you got the bearskin bedroll and you got good clothing. The problem is, I would prefer to sleep in a house, because if the weather goes really bad on you, you could still freeze out there. 
And that's that's just really bad. Really, really bad. You don't want that to happen. So, for the most part, if you can, you don't have to worry about cabin fever. Sleep in a house. Sleep indoors. Um, especially when you're fishing, like I'm doing right now. I know for a fact I'm going to wear off any cabin fever risk I get uh, throughout the day fishing. Even uh, no matter what I get throughout the night sleeping, I know I'm going to wear it away while I'm fishing. So I have no problem doing this. Now, if you're doing other things, like you're staying indoors crafting a bunch of clothing, like that's when you're going to end up with cabin fever. That's why if you can get it as much as you can get crafting... Uh, yeah, as soon as you can craft things, you should craft. So like getting your rabbit gear immediately, super good. Because I don't think you can get cabin fever before day 25. Ah, uh, probably don't even need this. Let me just walk through. We got the windows here to guide us a little bit. And I know the layout. But uh, we didn't get food. Okay, so that's that. Going backwards here can be a bit tough. So let me just get my lantern out. Oh, we got turned around. That's why. I thought that was that window. My bad, my bad. Let me just step out and grab a steak real quick. Forgot to do that. That is the one thing. Um, really nice. Because I used to play this on console a long time ago. And that was an owl that might have been a wolf. Whew. Um, that was a little scary. But uh, on console, like when you screw up and you leave a piece of meat outside and you have to go back out. It's like a good like minute, minute and a half of waiting at a load screen. <laughs> Um, it's really nice on PC that it loads that quickly. It's almost like there isn't a load screen. I mean, there's a slight one, like, five seconds, but not near as bad as it is on console. So that's really nice. Now we need to need some water. Whatever, and there's the stove. There's my water. Alright. Let me eat, drink, and then we can sleep throughout the night. Have a good night's sleep, and we should be alright. Hmm. And before we sleep, I do want to check my fishing progress. How are we doing? Oh, a little over half. Nice. Well, that's probably about exactly half. Yeah, about. Um, so we should be good about right here. We're going to read the book. That'll get us to level 5. And we'll be A-OK. -okay. So, um, 10 hours. Be good. We won't sleep that long, of course, but we'll let the pass some time, sleep some more. Sounds like we've got a blizzard going on outside, so I'm glad we're not dealing with that right now. Okay, so we're going to head fishing right now. I know it seems a little dark to horse. do that, but I do want to get some early starts. I want to get as much progress as I can per day, um, but actually, we're going to have to do that in the next episode because we are out of time. So if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure to give it a like if you're new to the channel. Consider subscribing as it does help me out. I really appreciate it, and you guys might like to see something else on the channel that you want to watch. So, make sure you do that, and I will see you guys, hopefully, in the next episode.